Uncle Lincoln called to ask me if I'd heard the news. It was all over the internet. The Pope has come out in favor of gay marriage. He said it in a press conference in Rome. It's amazing, Lu Ying, he said. I never thought I'd live to see this day. I didn't have the heart to tell him it was a hoax. The same as the reports that Pope Francis had said hell was a literary device. My friends had been liking it all day on Facebook until someone thought to check Snopes. But on the other hand, who knew? Maybe this pope really did think these things, and it was only the public airing that was false. I thought of your mother today, Uncle Lincoln said. Because of the pope? No, because it's your parents' anniversary. Oh shit, I thought. I'd completely forgotten. Did you call my dad? I left a message. He didn't answer. He'll be happy you remembered, I said. I glanced at the clock on the wall. Still time before it was midnight in New Jersey. I could call right after Lincoln hung up. Of course, he said, his voice offended. I never forget. I know, I'm sorry, I said. I always light a candle for your mother on my shrine. I've got my own ancestor altar shut up, set up with pictures of Ba and Ma and of course your mother. Did you put it up for Qingming, I said? No, Qingming is next month, Uncle Lincoln explained patiently. I keep the candle up year round. I couldn't keep track of when Chinese New Year fell, much less the festivals for the dead. It wasn't just that the lunar calendar threw me, but the fact that Chinese traditionally celebrated the dead more than the living. 